Hi, Mike Giannotti here on the second day of AI, and our co-pilot is giving to us generative AI in Microsoft Word. Now, on the first day, we took a look at Outlook, right? And I talked about the fact that, you know, with Outlook, <clears throat> even when we select long for the format, it's all relative, right? Because an email is fundamentally different from a document like Word, where we're gonna do something that's much more in-depth, more expansive, potentially many, many, many pages, right? So that's a fundamental difference. But today we're diving into Word. And just as before, our data in our Microsoft 365 instance stays our data, nothing goes outside. Our large language models like Chat GPT that are brought in, they're locked and they're within the Microsoft 365 trust boundary. We're not sending that out to an external entity. Everything stays in house. So from a security and compliance, nothing changes. But in this case, we're gonna now produce some lengthier co content based upon our internal data in Microsoft 365. So let's switch on over. And you can see I've already opened up Word and it automatically for me opened up the draft with Copilot box. I haven't started anything, I just selected new. And this is what I was greeted with. So again, the idea is just like an Outlook in the flow of work, Copilot is there to help you. It is that assistant that's saying, hey, what can I do? Can I, can I give you a hand so that I can attend to some of the busier work and time consuming things that maybe take me off of more strategic tasks and let me free up that time to generate that first draft. So we're gonna go ahead here. You can see it says draft with Copilot. Describe what you'd like to write, including notes or an outline, and Copilot can generate a draft to help you get started. A draft, remember? Remember what I said in Outlook. When, I, when this is done and I save the document, it's not gonna say save by Microsoft 365 Copilot. It's gonna say save by Michael Giannotti. So just like with the previous one, you know, I want to make sure that it's representative of me. You know, again, if I'm sitting in my office and I hand uh, an assignment to Dan, my admin, sitting outside, or Joe, or Robin, or Julie, whoever they are sitting outside there, I want to make sure they may do the 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 brunt of that, you know, legwork up front. But when it's given to me, I need to ensure it's reflective of me because ultimately I'm on the hook for it. But we're gonna go in here, you can see I have the option to use up to 2000 characters. So in Word, because of the nature of that kind of documentation, it's providing us the ability to use a lot around that prompt, right? That AI prompt. And again, as yesterday I said, hey, this is an important thing, learning prompt skills, how to ask specifically for what you want it to produce. So the better I get at learning how to do those prompts. And it's providing me a lot of headroom to get very descriptive here. I can go ahead and do that. I also have this option to reference a specific file. So if there's a file already out there that I want to leverage to produce this document and do it solely off of that, that's in our this document in our Microsoft 365, I can do that. Uh, I'm going to close this just for a second. Uh, but you'll notice also up here in the taskbar, just like in Outlook, again, flow of work, what people are familiar with. Up in the taskbar, Copilot is right there for me to invoke and start to work with it. Um, but also notice my cursor. I'm going to click back in here. The second I go ahead and click, I get the little same icon and it says draft with Copilot. So even once it's done doing its initial work, and you'll see this, I can continue to invoke uh, Copilot for completing of sections and multiple you know, pages, et cetera, within this Word doc. The idea, it understands contextually, this is potentially, this could be hundreds, thousands of pages long, but Copilot's there to help me along every step of the way in the flow of work. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna select it just from here. I get that same dialog box and yesterday, if you remember, we had a whole piece around that we sent to our customer, Janice, an email, and uh, explaining to her how Copilot and Microsoft uh, Viva can help 
uh, reduce employee burnout and attrition and increase employee job satisfaction and retention. Well, we wanna do something similar so we have a comparison between the outputs of the two. So I'm gonna go ahead here and I've already got that written up and we'll just paste it in and it says, how can Microsoft 365 Copilot and the Microsoft Viva Suite reduce employee burnout while increasing employee job satisfaction and increasing employee job retention? And that should actually be a question mark. Let's put that there, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead, I've only used 166 out of 2000 possible characters. So you can see, I could get very expansive here. But we're gonna go ahead and select generate. It's doing the same process of going out to the, you know, to our uh, 365 environment, looking at data there. It's improving my prompt, goes out to the large language model, and now it's gonna come back, pick up the data, and it's generating this response. And first thing that you'll notice it's different from yesterday's, it's actually taking our prompt query, it turned it into a title and a subtitle. Then it's introducing the topic and then providing supportive content around that same topic and dropping that in here. And so it's gonna to continue to go on. Uh, we'll let it finish here. So I'm on page, it's now up to three pages and it's finished. So I'm gonna go mm -hmm. ahead, you notice I do have some options. I can say, uh, you know, that number one, it does let me know how data can be incorrect, only as good as the data that's there. I can keep it, I can regenerate, delete, or I can you know, go and do some additional or change verbiage. I'm gonna select keep it. And well, let's take a look at the structure. So what it's done, again, you can see it's you know, given me a title, a subtitle based off of my prompt. It's introduced the topic. My introduction here is long, probably longer than the email I sent yesterday. Um, but covering a lot of that same ground. And then it gets into some in-depth, here it's talking about how 365 Copilot, your personal assistant for writing. Then it goes into the Viva Suite, your platform for employee experience and how that can, and then it pulls it all together in its conclusion. But like I mentioned, it's always here for me. If I wanna to start to add additional content and keep going on, I can absolutely do so because where I put my cursor and click, I get the icon in the flow of work to continue to expand on this. As always, this is the first draft. It's now incumbent on me to review this, to edit, to add to or amplify, whatever the case might be to make sure it is reflective of me. But you can see how this is taken and it's looked up all this information in our organization provided it back here it, based upon what I have access to, right? Didn't pull data from areas I don't have access to. We security trim, just like we do in search. Um, but now it's my document. When I save it, it's subject to all the same compliance rules and regulations, policies that we've set up around data loss protection or data retention, record retention, all that's still there. So. Nothing changes from a security and compliance standpoint. It is still my document. I'm on the hook for it, <clears throat> but it has saved me a wealth of time of going and searching, looking up information, pouring through it, and then compiling my own. Huge time saver, huge. Think about this in your organization, leveraging this uh, to create documentation, whether it's for architecture, whether it's around medical, uh, you know, latest medical documentation around sterilization processes and procedures, et cetera, whatever the case is based on your data in Microsoft 365. That's Microsoft 365 Copilot in Word for generating content. Yesterday was generating an outlook. Tomorrow, we're gonna take a look at evaluating content within using Word to evaluate and summarize and pull things back from large data sets of information. So with that, this is Mike Giannotti for the 12 Days of Copilot, bidding you have a great day, take care, and as always, ciao.